What's going on guys? Today I'm going to do a quick review of the OBD2 scanner by Foxwell. Uh, in this video I'm going to explain everything you need to know about the scanner, including the one important thing I think everyone should know before actually buying. So this OBD2 scanner is going to allow you to read all the different codes that your car will put out, uh, including access to emissions readiness and also uh, the ability to turn off the check engine light, uh, reset the monitor, read live data, retrieve the VIN on your vehicle, and all the things you need to do to basically diagnose if there's a problem with the vehicle. Uh, I personally got it because I've been doing a little bit of side work for some friends here and there, um, and I decided that I needed something to be able to tell when there's a different code that gets triggered, what's going on. So in terms of things to know about the scanner is that uh, obviously, it, you know, it has uh, live data graphing and logging, so it allows you to accurately read the data codes uh, as they come in. I haven't had an issue uh, with you know, like different uh, vehicles that I'm using. Um, one thing that's been nice is that in here, you can actually go to the lookup and you can actually look up the codes. Uh, and then it actually tells you to, you know, say the uh, automobile manufacturer as well. So um, it's been really good to actually look up codes and understand what's going on. Uh, I haven't found a vehicle yet that it hasn't worked with. Uh, it's worked with pretty much everything I've used it on. Uh, it has a uh, free lifetime update and a one-year seller assurance, um, which I think is a really nice little feature. Uh, and frankly, um, the listing actually itself has a lot of answers to questions. There's quite a few things just with the setup and things uh, that I had some questions with that helped me with that as well. Another good thing about it, uh, and I'm not going to go into the whole tutorial here, but you can actually check your, uh, your smog, um, which we're in Nevada here, and that was a thing that was actually my first reason for getting it. Uh, and I just started basically doing some side work as well. Uh, so there is a smog checker in here too, so you can kind of check that before you go in. Uh, to get that taken care of. And before I get into what I think is really important thing to know about this, a few common questions. So does the scanner have a screen protector? So I mine hasn't been too beat up yet. I haven't been using it for too long here. I think I fixed like five or six cards with it, but it does have a screen protector. I don't know how well you can see it, but there's a little piece of plastic right there, that little tab. If I just tear that off, this is actually the screen protector. So the screen protector is on there now. Mine hasn't gotten beaten up, but as it gets scratches and stuff, you could just basically tear that off. Um, and that would make it obviously look a lot cleaner. Can it do uh, onboard monitoring testing? Yes, it does do that uh, onboard directly. Does it display the error on the screen in the meeting? Yes, uh, that's one thing I really like is that it not, it not only gives you the code, but it will actually tell you uh, what the, the codes mean, which is important um, You know, if you're not familiar with all the codes off the top of your head, which is hard to do with all the different uh, manufacturers out there. Next, can you have two forms of live data? Yes, they have a chart and a graph that'll be shown on the screen. Um, I don't currently have an error code that would trigger that, uh, but they do have that available. Does it log data for future reference? Yes, it does. Um, it has the data logs uh, within here, so you can actually just right there, you can basically review them and do that. And then will this find issues on a car if the check engine light hasn't come on yet? So yes, it does. This IM key right here in the middle, uh, that lets you check all the emission related monitors uh, and make sure that it's ready for the smog test. So the most important thing to know about this before you get it, um, honestly, the directions of this are pretty much non-existent, not really all that good. I mean, if you've used, you know, something to check your codes before, it's, it's going to be similar, uh, but there aren't really any directions to this. I personally, I just use the listing. Uh, I went back to the listing and just kind of looked up different questions that I had. A lot of the things that I had were answered there, uh, but there's just a lot of clicking around and looking. So that's what I would say is probably the, the one thing to know is that the directions here for this aren't the greatest, uh, but overall, really good product. Uh, helped me with codes and check out a few things. That, like I said, a few cars that I had fixed. I've had absolutely no problems with it. Uh, everything has been accurate. So yeah, definitely recommend it.